Oh, Poople. Didn't see you there. Snuck up behind me. <laughs> Hope you're all doing okay. I'm out with the dogs, you probably out here panting like fuck in the background. <laughs> Spot thought it was a brilliant idea. I've got Spot and Gem. Spot thought it was a brilliant idea that when I give them a nice full bowl of nice clean cold water, she thought it was a brilliant idea to jump in it and knock it flying. So therefore I'd run out of water. So. <laughs> But uh, luckily there's a sheep trough just a bit further up with nice clean water in it, so... But, uh, hmm. So I thought, I'd do a little chatty bit. There's a magpie, uh, jackdaw coming towards me. Do we kill it? Oh, my fag fell over. And again. Oh, it saw me. Mind you, I was making a right fucking, <laughs> fucking racket when I... <laughs> Anyway, Wild Justice, mm. Mr. Packham and Avery and that woman, I can never remember her name, um, saw on uh, Field Sports Channel the night that uh, they're putting in <coughs> a legal challenge or something to uh, Natural Resources Wales to have the carrion crow the magpie. I think I think they said J as well, but I'm sure they already got rid of the J last on the last fucking uh, shake up. But anyway, the carrion crow and magpie, the fucking the things that are getting on my tits about it. Now I don't know if any of you well I know there is a few of you that shoot in Wales, but fuck me man. We know what the crow situation, the carrion crow situation is like here. Fucking hell man. Every single farm that I shoot on, none of them are asked about pigeons, really. I mean, they do, you know, the pigeons piss them off, like, but nothing like the crows. <laughs> you got it, Spot? <laughs> hey, you're bringing me good luck tonight, you lot. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I, yeah, nothing like the crows. Can I have it, Spot? Good girl. Yeah, no, <laughs> Anyway, what were we saying? Yeah, the carrion crow. That was a jackdaw, by the way. Um, the carrion crow. Fucking hell, man, the damage that them things do. Jesus. They, wrecked, they destroyed the bloody, or they tried to destroy drilled fields. I mean, this field at the back of me now, it's getting on for two inches long, or even more, three inches long. Get down, Spot. And uh, the crow's up there digging it up now. You know what I mean? <coughs> they removed the rock off the, the general licence on the last shake-up, so we can't shoot the rocks. Give me that, you, you little sod. Should run off with me cart me dead cartridge anyway um yeah so we're not really allowed to shoot well we're not allowed to shoot the rocks now they're digging the bloody fields up then in the sheep feeders and bloody cattle troughs and everything um but the carrion crow is just a fucking absolute nightmare in wales absolute nightmare fucking have the eyes out of your of your lambs you know what i mean They'd be, as the lambs are being born they're having their eyes out <coughs> the damage in the crops. It's not just when they're drilled. As soon as it starts turning green and the, the barley starts getting a little bit milky, poof, fucking jackdaws and crows are in it. As soon as it starts, or you get a little bit of a flat patch, get a nice, you know, bit of wind and rain in the summer, and they're in it, making a right fucking mess. Shitting all over the yards and the barns. Oh my god. Anyway, so Mr. Packham and his fucking cronies, in, the, in their wisdom, thought, I know, how can we help Britain in this pandemic situation where we've all got the, the virus of the crown floating around? How can we help? We'll fucking sneak in a legal, a legal challenge to Natural Resources Wales while everybody's already stretched to the fucking limit. You know what I mean? What a sneaky piece of shit he is and his fucking cronies. Fucking sneaky, underhanded piece of shit, that, I tell you.
I think I touched upon it on my last video, but fucking hell, it's been eating at me <laughs> for a few days. I'm thinking, who the fuck in their right mind starts trying to take government bodies to court or mount legal challenges who won't go to court yet because the courts are still shut unless they do a, a paperwork type court. But who in their fucking right mind? Well, we know he's not in his right mind anyway. He keeps pretending he's fucking something wrong with him. But, um, <coughs> yeah, who the fuck does that? We're in the supposedly the biggest pandemic since the fucking Spanish flu in 1918. Um, <coughs> not to mention the normal flus and the SARS and all this, that and the other. But anyway, that's a, neither here nor there. We won't get into that one. But, um, yeah, I mean, who the fuck does that? Who the fuck does that? They're hoping to sneak it in under the radar, they are. They're hoping that Natural Resources Wales are going to go, oh, for fuck's sake, we've got enough to do. Fucking just give him what he wants. On the other side, on the other hand, hopefully it'll backfire on the prick. Because hopefully they'll say, fuck off, we've got enough to do rather than dealing with you, you arsehole, and fucking throw it out completely. So that's what the courts should do. I mean, they've got themselves a fucking crowdfunding page now to pay for it. Who the fuck are all these people who are fucking paying for these dickheads to take farmers to court? Or well, not farmers, but the natural resources Wales. In the long run, it's the farmers that have got to, you know what I mean? They're going to suffer, aren't they? You know what I mean? Are they fucking vegans and whatnot? Oh, don't shoot a crow. Oh, fucking hell, don't shoot a magpie. I mean, at the end of the day, you fucking take the carrion crow and the magpie off the general licence in Wales, and it won't be long before all that's left is fucking carrion crows, jackdaws, magpies, right? Because all they're trying to do is protect the fucking corvids. <coughs> all your red-listed species, pff, they'll be fucking desecrated. You know what I mean? And that's the uh, the TV presenter and fucking TV naturalist slash fucking destroyer of the countryside, because that's what he should be known as. Fuck's sake. I went off on one, didn't I? Haha. <laughs> But, no, you know what I mean? I'm fucking... It's the timing of it. You just... Fucking... Fucking sh... I mean... Ugh. Shame on you, you fucking prick. You just fucking... You know what I mean? He's shown exactly... Uh, exactly what sort of fucking tosser he actually is. Him and that fucking... Fat bloke that eats all... Everything by the looks of him. I um, can't remember his fucking name now either. I said it a minute ago, but I can't remember it. But, yeah... That's the sort of fucking people you're dealing with. You've got the Welsh Assembly and the, and the fucking governments that are struggling to keep up and uh, keep the NHS supplied. But what are they more interested in? Fucking crows. You know what I mean? They should use, be using their celebrity status to fucking raise money. I mean, what we got? We got an old, a 99-year-old fucking bloke, Captain Tom, raising fucking millions 20 odd million last time I saw. Fucking jackdaws everywhere. Yeah, raised 20 odd million. And what have you got here with the fucking, these so called fucking TV celebrities doing fuck all, apart from fucking trying to sneak legislation in under the radar when everybody's fucking busy? Fucking shame on you, you prick. Tell you what, I'll fucking. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Better calm down a little bit because it's fucking annoyed me. It really has fucking annoyed me, all this shit. You know what I mean? Fucking assholes like that. They're living in their fucking big posh houses and fucking got all this fucking money and whatnot. They're doing nothing to help this fucking country at all. Unless I fucking haven't seen it. Well, I've not seen the fucker anywhere. Trying to help raise money for the NHS, trying to fucking raise money for, I don't know, combating this the fucking virus and that. Not seen anything, but soon chirped up when a fucking crow got shot. Fucking hell. Hey, fucking get your priorities right, man. Sort your fucking self out and give your fucking head a wobble. What a prick. But anyway, on the plus side, I just killed a jackdaw. So you can have that, you twat. Haha. <laughs> Fuck you. Actually, I've killed two. I shot one before I put the camera on. <laughs> Over there. Hey, it Jembo? Yeah. Jem smacking me on the leg. Yeah, so I thought I'd just do a little bit of a... What's my call it? Have yourself a bit of a chat in the comments and whatnot about it. Um, 
or even if you feel feel it necessary to to lobby natural resources Wales, even though they are a bit fucking busy and out at the moment trying to keep people out of the fucking countryside and all this social distancing and whatnot. I'm I'm sure they're really busy at the moment, so perhaps lobbying them at the moment. You know, being good, responsible fucking citizens, perhaps we shouldn't fucking harass them at the moment. But uh, unfortunately, I think this is what Packham and them are all fucking relying on, that nobody will say anything because everybody's so fucking busy trying to sort this pandemic out. People are fucking dying all over the fucking place. You know what I mean? You're fucking doctors and nurses dying and then you've got old fucking tossing fucking wanker like him. And fucking Avery, remembered his name. Still can't remember the name of the fat bird, but you probably know who I mean. you got them fucking shower of twats asking the public to fund a legal fucking a legal challenge on the general licence in Wales. Tut, tut, tut. Shame on you, you pieces of shit. In the comments, let's just... Everyone in the comments put, shame on you. you don't put piece of shit because... Uh, <laughs> The YouTube algorithm remove, <laughs> removes swear. Any messages you put in in the comments, I don't care if you swear. It doesn't bother me in the slightest. I laugh my head off. Abbreviate your swear words that way, then your messages come through. <laughs> Sometimes if you write a full swear word, the algorithm stops it from coming through and then I end up finding it in a spam folder three months later. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. But you could all just put on underneath. Shame on you. Pack them all. Shame on you, wild justice, or I don't know. I don't know. Fuck those. Don't know. Don't do anything. <laughs> Fuck them. <laughs> yeah. So I thought I'll just get that off my chest. I think I need a shave. Because I've got a bald head and a big beard. It looks like I've got my head on upside down. But uh, fucking A fever. And I'm annoyed. As you may have told, been able to tell. Um, <coughs> yeah, did you <laughs> did you all see me mole shooting video the other day? That was good, wasn't it? <laughs> Not for the mole, but that was fun. Um, you might have noticed there's adverts running in it now on me some of my films. A lot of my films they won't run adverts on because apparently it's not advertiser friendly. <laughs> can't think why. I just can't. I'm to, what do you reckon? Can't think why. But, uh, but yeah, yeah, if you see any adverts, I need that 15p a year, so, you know, <laughs> bear with me. <laughs> I'm going to buy a cartridge with that at the end of the year. But, uh, that was part and parcel of the hitting the thousand and getting it monetized and all this, that and the other, so just it might help the channel get a bit bigger. I'll probably have to, probably have to stop swearing or stop killing stuff live on camera. <laughs> How do the Americans do it? How do these Americans? Anyone got any tips? Because you see these American channels, American shooting channels, um, like Demolition Ranch. I don't know if you all watch Demolition Ranch. Eight million subscribers. Eight fucking million subscribers. How's that possible? Lunkers TV. Fucking hell, I think he's got one and a half or two million. Um, these American gun type channels, Jesus. I, I don't know how they fucking do it. You know what I mean? So one guy, um, I think his daughter does some videos, but she opened up a channel for his dad. Within two days, five and a half thousand subs. How the fuck? <laughs> I've been on here for fucking Christ. I don't know, four years? Five years maybe. I don't know, three or five. Yeah, about five years probably. And um, we've only just hit a thousand. I'm chuffed to fuck with that. But... <laughs> How the fuck did you get a million and eight million? God. And none of them run around with the tits out, so I mean, there's no point me doing that. I mean, that will just get you to turn off, like. But anyway, enough nonsense. I'm gonna fuck off. I only wanted to have a whinge about Packham and Wild Justice being a bunch of dirty, underhanded, sneaky bunch of fucking. <laughs> But don't go to his house and attack him. Send him, an, you can send him an email or something like that, tell him how despicable he is. That's acceptable. But uh, don't be nasty, like you know what I mean. Don't be. Yeah. He won't watch this, so you know. <laughs> <laughs>
it's not a problem. <laughs> but if he does, you can comment in the <laughs> if you watch it, if you do watch this, Mr. Packham, you can comment underneath. I fucking dare you. <laughs> yeah, he wouldn't. Because I know you lot would fucking have the twat. <laughs> anyway. Sorted. Right, yeah, bit of a rant. Um if you want, I mean you could suppose you could if you were that if you were interested, just send a send an email to Natural Resources Wales and politely mention that, you know, they're a bit busy to be dealing with Packham at the moment. And apart from the fact we need the we need the uh, carrying crow and the magpie especially to stay on. We could do with the crows back, uh, the the rooks back, and the fucking doves. Who the, f who the fuck takes a fucking non-indigenous species off the fucking list, for Christ's sake? Spastics. Anyway, out this spot. You tell them off. You're not having it. Yeah, <laughs> she's trying to get this fucking jackdaw off my bonnet. I keep leaning in all the blood now. I've got it all over my elbows. But anyway, right, I'm definitely going to go. Thanks for having a look. Have a little fucking... Uh, little do in the comments have a chat amongst yourselves or to me or whatever we'll put the fucking world to rights as usual <laughs> I'll, um, I'll link the field sports channel um, programming from the other night so you can see it's only a, a small sort of snippet on on the news bit but I'll link that in and uh, <coughs> a couple of other I'll link a couple of other videos and a couple of other channels in as well check out um, Old Muddy Gun, he's doing a few channels on there. He's always commenting on on my videos. Jim Wood, you're not having it. Get off, <laughs> little shit. Uh, Jim Wood, actually, I've just got a notification saying Jim's put a a fox shooting compilation up. So pop over and have a look at Jim Wood shooting as well. I'll link them all in the description. And Delks is um, new bushcraft type one. <laughs> Where he's out with Brenda the pheasant. <laughs> Brenda the pheasant. Fuck's sake. <laughs> anyway, right, I'm gonna fuck off. <laughs> Apologies for the adverts, but hey, you <laughs> gotta be done, any. <laughs> See you later, peeps. Have fun. Pack them. You're a cunt. <laughs> he's a cunt, he fuff. Yes. Did you chew that cartridge off, you little bastard? <laughs> Go. Cool. Thank <laughs> you.